I need you to focus. I'm going to show you a few images. When you look at each one, go ahead and say out loud what it is that you see. Now, if you're watching this video at work, you might want to whisper it. Okay, are you ready? Here's the first one. What about this one? Or how about this one? Humans can see faces in almost anything. In fact, our brains are hardwired to recognize patterns, especially faces. It's a phenomenon known as, it's a big word, pyridolia. Okay, here, say it with me. Pyridolia. Ah, you got it. It causes people to see animals in clouds or religious figures in toast. When it comes to faces, babies as young as two days can recognize and imitate facial expressions. But did you know that computers can also recognize faces? This computer program scans Google Maps looking for faces on the earth. Do any of these pictures look like faces to you? They do to this computer program called Google Faces. Sometimes the images don't really resemble people, but sometimes they're plain as day. Facial recognition software isn't just for special projects like Google Faces. They're in use all over social media. Facebook and Google already recognize your face in photos you upload. You've probably even used it to tag people in pictures. It makes it easy to find photos of yourself or your friends online but it also makes it super easy for corporations and governments to recognize you. Face Deals is a new business that uses facial recognition to offer discounts on goods and services. The camera knows your face as you walk in and sends coupons and offers to your smartphone. It only recognizes people who sign up for it. In other cases, law enforcement uses this same technology to prevent crime. Facial recognition software was used to hunt the Boston bombing suspect. It's also used to solve missing person crimes and secure public events against terrorists and criminals. The FBI is working on the largest database of biometric info on the planet. This includes faces, fingerprints, and DNA. As of right now, the FBI can only keep your picture on file if you've been arrested or photographed in a mugshot. But there's no doubt the implications of this technology are disturbing. Do you want government computers to recognize your face wherever you go? What about private companies? How would you like to be targeted by ads when a camera sees you around town? As facial recognition technology gets used more and more often, defense mechanisms are racing to catch up. These glasses look kind of geeky, but on camera, they look like a bright blinding light. It uses infrared LEDs to confuse and disrupt facial recognition software and typical cameras. A mask can also do this, but then people can't see your eyes or your facial expression. Also, most facial recognition software works even when you're wearing sunglasses. The company that designed this visor is also working on a pair of glasses that uses mirrors and reflections to foil identification. New technology like facial recognition can make our lives easier, safer, and more fun. But it can also be used to infringe on our privacy. We see this every day. That's why it's so important to stay informed on all the latest developments in our digital world. And the best place to stay informed is at my website over at commando.com. So for everything digital, I'm Kim Commando.